Welcome back to the hot spot, everybody. We have some exciting news as our friends at UOG Press are launching their newest publication, I Lalai Belimbetudzen, a kid's book written by none other than Kathy Payne and John Payne II, illustrated by Veronica Cruz. Now, you know anything about me, I love celebrating the arts, and we here at KUM, we will give all the time in the world showing people how they are expressing themselves, celebrating our culture, and so we have Veronica and Kathy right here, respectively from right to left. So congratulations, ladies, first of all, on publishing a book I've done a couple of those projects. They are really, really difficult to do. It's a series of decisions that have to be made over a certain amount of time, but certainly worthwhile. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so congratulations, Kathy. I know this is not your first uh, your first rodeo with the literary art. Uh, what makes this book so so distinct? I love the instrument, the Bill and Bell Susan. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice to be able to celebrate that. Very nice. Now, what? Uh, how did you incorporate, you know, the uniqueness of the Bella Matuzin in, into your story? Sure. Uh, well, the Bella Matuzin is an integral part of the story, and then we also had back matter at the end of the book that talks about how the instrument has evolved. Oh, very nice. So almost like like a coda at the end of the story, or kind of like like an epilogue. Right. Oh, very nice. Okay. And Veronica, as the illustrator, um, you know, it's your upon your very capable shoulders, I would say, you know, that finding, finding imagery to bring this story to life, especially mm -hmm. because it's for kids. Right. Because words are one thing, you know, it's, it's also the pictures that really visual. bring it to life. So how challenging yeah. was that? Well, um, this was kind of my first rodeo in, in terms of character design and, and illustrating in this um, sort of expansive way. And um, it was a huge challenge, mm -hmm. but it was a lot of fun. And I remember reading it just as text and getting all these visuals. And that in itself was kind of, you know, a sign that, okay, I can do this, mm -hmm. you know. Now, now, how was the working relationship <laughs> between the two of you? Because Kathy, this is your vision. This is your baby. You know, the, mm -hmm. the story comes to life because of, of the words that you've put to paper. And Veronica, you know, you're giving it the visual appeal. So, you know, did you guys kind of like uh, collab on some ideas and, and who had the final say? I hope there was no drama. No, <laughs> not at all. It was actually pretty flow, good flow, you know. Nice. Yeah, we met um, about once a week for several yeah. months, mm -hmm. and Veronica brought so much to the story. So she really helped with the character development because she had envisioned the character in a way that I hadn't. And then the story has a lot of emotional layers, and she captured all of the emotions. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so there is the cover right now. I lalai belambatuds. That is beautiful. Thank you. That is, okay, so so maybe Veronica, just take me through like your creative process in putting this together. You know, I mean, the the cover art is a thing completely on its own too. So when when you wanted to capture this particular image of this wonderful young beautiful chamarita, the flowers in her hair, she's playing this instrument that you know means so much to those of us and you know goes through so much of our heritage. Mm -hmm. How did you actually put that together? So my intention for the book and was to create that that feeling of warmth and comfort and and home and so there's tinges of my childhood that i brought in and also just that feeling of family and and what that means and so the colors of and and the scenery and the the greenery are all intentional to kind of bring us back to a very simple time mm -hmm. you know back to nature back to home back to family and do, do you mind if i ask um, with both of you ladies do, do you play musical instruments yourself play a little bit of guitar oh very good okay, okay so yeah. you can't you can directly empathize what it means to like a young person to basically yeah. take this big often intimidating mm -hmm. you know instrument of of wood and string yeah and then do something with it and it's like wow i just made music and, right. and it really becomes your own yeah i think what i heavily resonated with was the relationship between a grandparent and a grandchild because i think that's such an important thing in the book and um losing a grandchild i mean you excuse me losing a grandparent at a young age and um, what that means and the impact that it has mm -hmm. and so I resonated with Lalai a lot on that okay so so now Kathy um, <laughs> since Veronica set it up so perfectly uh, what is the moral or like thematically like what are, what are you trying to convey to the reader um, mm -hmm. through this story and, and you know how do you kind of like you know navigate them through the various you know various parts of the story Sure. Um, so there are various themes. Um, one theme is about finding your passion and following your passion. And so sometimes children will do things to please a parent or a grandparent, but at mm -hmm. some point they have to decide whether that's for them or not. So that's one. Um, the other one is um, having a relationship with a grandparent and what that means as the relationship changes and how does a child cope with that change. Mm -hmm. There's so, so a lot of growth, a lot of um, self-awareness, self-discovery. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, beautiful. Now, I'm, I must ask Kathy, and you know, I, I have so much you know respect for you for for cre for both of you, you know, for creating this art. Uh, if you would favor us, if if you don't mind, about maybe reading us a passage from this work. Sure, Lalai's love for the Bellum Beltudzen grew over the years. 
She played at fiestas the way Tatan Bihu did when he was young. After performing at one fiesta, her little cousins ran up to her. Lulai, you've gotten so good at playing the Bill and Bill Susan, Pulan said. Si duos maasi, she humbly replied. Tatan Bihu was a good fafanogui. So really, really giving a, a lot of praise and credit to Tata. Right, mm -hmm. Tata yeah. Bihu. Yeah. Tata and Tata and Bihu, yeah. So, so the grand, grandfather in this, in this regard. Right. My grandfather did not play uh, like any instruments. He, he was one of those like, uh, like older Chamor guys when he was still alive. Mm. He spoke very few words, but when he did, like they carried a lot of weight. Yeah. So maybe, maybe talk about the character of, uh, of Tata and Bihu. Is, is he directly involved in this story or is he more, you know, uh, like sight unseen. No, um, yeah, he plays a central role in the story. And so what's really nice is that, uh, you know, I've also had good relationships with my grandparents too. Mm. And sometimes- You're you know, blessed. Yeah, thank you. And sometimes, you know, maybe they didn't say too much, but I learned so much just from watching them and interacting with them. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, can I ask you to, uh, to hold that up just one more time? Sure. Because Veronica, the background, I mean, it's, it's one thing, and you put so much intricate detail into the characters themselves, as well as the Bellum Batudzin. I'm, I'm I was going to say, I'm, in awe. I'm also jealous as heck because I, I can't draw to save my life, right? But the background, you've got that wonderful tree and are those, are those mangoes there? So how did you come up with like the whole design and, and you know, capturing the environment? Well, that's our island, you know? Our island is beautiful and our sunsets are amazing. And I wanted to bring that to light and remind people of that. A very simple time being outside was a huge part of my childhood and mangoes were like always during the summertime. So I wanted to really put that in, you know, and remind people of a simpler time. Mm. And we still have that here. <laughs> well, you know, I've been broadcasting for 22 years now and I, I, the most professional way I can say this is like, damn girl, you're good. Thanks, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no, very, um, may I ask now, technically, um, did you hand draw these or were you using like, like Photoshop, I, Illustrator? Or? Mm, so I used a, um, a digital, uh, I used an iPad. Okay. Essentially, and um, so it was all digital, and uh, yeah, it started off with sketches, rough sketches, and then I would add in the color. But it was all digital. digital I hope you had an done. apple uh, apple pen too. I did. Okay, because I was should, just yeah. <laughs> I tried doing that like with my finger, and it, mm -hmm. like it never ends. Not well. gonna work. Yeah. So thank you for the technology of today mm. to provide such, you know, to create something like this. On it's this absolutely show. gorgeous. Like Thanks. just like the array of colors, like just like literally leaps off the page. I mean, that's. Thank um, you. Um, Kathy, how long, in terms of timeline, right, how long did it take you to conceive this idea and is, is this like a story that you've had like in the back of your mind for a long time? Right, so the, the idea has been percolating for several years and then when I was finally able to write stories, then I thought, oh, this is the perfect instrument to write about mm -hmm. and it's the perfect metaphor. Okay, have you ever played the Bellum Batudzin yourself? I know I was asking. No, but I, I've listened to it quite a bit. <laughs> I, I think I held one in my hand once, but I've played guitar for, you know, like maybe about 25 years. I was like, this is a completely different animal. I wouldn't even know where to start. Yeah, but <laughs> it, it, is, it is beautiful. Yeah. Um, okay, so take us through like a little bit more of the story if you can. Maybe, maybe uh, like advance a little bit with, like with the pages and just... Uh, you know, without giving too much away because we want people to get their hands on, on this book. Right, so yeah, I want to show you the cover. So. Yeah, it's so beautiful. And so this is dedicated to the future Bill and Baltusen players because uh, we really do hope that there are more children who are going to be interested in learning about the instrument. Mm -hmm. uh, and then so, you know, when we have the beginning, we have um, Lalai and she listens to the melody that her grandfather is playing. And so I love that screen door on, on page one, by the way. That's oh. a nice, nice yeah. touch, Veronica. <laughs> We all got screen doors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, you need that. I'm one of those kids. I grew, I grew up with yeah, a screen door. That's part, that's part of my childhood, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Kathy, how would you describe um, the, main, the main character, Lalai, and, you know, like her personality, like her, her ambitions, even? Yeah, so she's very smart. Uh, she's very musically inclined. And she's also doodos, too, so that was really fun. Yeah. Ah, yeah. How, okay. That's a, that's a very uniquely Guam thing. How did you yeah. actually capture Veronica being doodos visually? I mean, it's just um, it's just who you are. I can't can't give. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a part of. Uh, I don't know actually. It's just. It's, I can't describe it. I have no idea actually. Okay. You just are that. It's your essence. It's your personality. Okay. Hey, you know. You got. You guys are artists. Whatever, whatever your creative process <laughs> is. Like I said. I mean, that, like all all respect to you guys. Yeah. Uh, also. <laughs> Was it easier for, for each of you to work to work at night, work in the morning, you know, maybe after a glass of wine or, you know, like <laughs> out on the beach, you know? Uh, um, for me, when I write, I just sit in front of my computer anywhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just let it happen. Yeah. Right? yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, it's kind of same. So at the time, I had a lot more free time uh, to work wherever. So um, I would just be kind of working where I could. If I was hanging out with friends, I'd just bring it out and start jamming it. And um, anywhere I could, really. It's not a specific time. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, so now we are running out of time, but we did want to let people know this is a UOG Press publication. Now, how, right. Kathy, how can people get their, their hands on this? Can they, and can they order it? Because it, it makes an unbelievable gift. Oh, thank you. So it is available uh, on the um, uogpress.com website for pre-order. And we also have a book launch on Saturday. So it's 10 a.m. to noon at the Nieves Flores Memorial Library in Hagatnia. And not only will I be reading the book, but we're also going to have a lot of fun activities, including a musical demonstration by the Belenbon Susan instructor, Mrs. Dolores Kinata. Oh, very, I know Auntie Dolores. Oh, very, very nice. Oh, that, that's wonderful. And, and hey, holiday shopping season right around the corner. This would make a perfect way to some, some kid comes out, they find us underneath the Christmas tree. Ayo. That is perfect. And then, you know, your, your creation, both of you, your words, your images and everything that's that is going to stand the test of time this lives on forever so yeah, so sorry. kathy and veronica thank you for sharing your creativity with thank us you so much. well i'll go mas and so congratulations on this very thank very very you. wonderful achievement all right please stay tuned because we have more of the hot spot coming up right after this